gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, a, truly a legend in learning here at Cisco, a man who needs no introduction, that is Mr. Dave Cavanaugh, and he's going to be your host for the Fireside Chat. Very good. Dave. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for warming them up, a, uh, a gregarious uh, software engineer. That's, that's very good. Nice job. Thank you. So again, I want to welcome you all here to day three. And uh, as, uh, for those of you that were here on Monday, we're going to do this fireside chat, basically an interview style uh, back and forth Q&A. Today I, we have the distinct pleasure, and it's, it's my pleasure and privilege to introduce our Chief Technology Officer here at Cisco, Padma Shri Warrior. Padma Shri joined Cisco just several months ago. Uh, the after that, she was CTO at Motorola, where she led a team of 26,000 engineers, sounds like an organization, so something like the size of our development organization. At Motorola, she served as Corporate Vice President and General Manager of Motorola's Energy Systems Group and as Corporate Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for its semiconductor product sector. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Padma Shri Warrior, Cisco's Chief Technology Officer. Thank you. Very Thank good. you, Dave. Welcome. Thank you for taking the time with us this morning. I thought since, since you've only been here a relatively short time, and, and certainly I don't know very much about you, I thought maybe the audience might like to know a little bit more about, about you. Could you give us a little bit of an introduction and tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Uh, first of all, let me say it's a pleasure to be here. But it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a great honor to be here and have an opportunity to talk to uh, engin the engineering population at Cisco. I joined uh, Cisco actually two and a half months ago. I was announced in November, but I actually uh, started working at the beginning of March. Uh, so this is my first opportunity to address a large uh, set of technical talent here at Cisco, and I'm very excited about that. So a very broad set of responsibilities, and now I'm, I'm very excited to be here. Okay. Well, very good. So what brought you to Cisco? What's exciting about coming to Cisco? Yeah, so, you know, I, to be honest, I looked at a lot of different companies before I finally chose Cisco as, a, as the place I wanted to be, I'm being a leader. And it's important to have a culture that's prepared to make the changes it needs to make. Okay, very good. So you've only been really here at Cisco for just a few months. What's the most interesting or surprising thing that you've, you've experienced since you've been here, whether it's about the people or the, the culture, compared to what you were expecting? Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've been here two and a half months now. So what has been surprising, or pleasantly surprising, is I think Cisco has... I don't know if that's true or not, but that's been my observation. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> well, very good. So help us understand your role as Cisco's chief technology officer, and, and what are your initial priorities? Mm -hmm. So the, you know, the, it's, it's interesting. I've been chief technology officer now pretty much most of my career. You know, in the training. So those are the kinds of things looking going forward that I'll be focusing on, and I'm going to need a lot of help from the technical community to do that. Third area of focus will be engaging with customers, as I said. So I'm curious. Certainly, as somebody that needs to help influence product direction, what's interesting is that you report directly to John, mm -hmm. but you haven't been announced as being part of the Cisco Development Council or part of CDO. And I'm just curious, what's your, what's your interaction or relationship with CDO and the Development Council, and how do you, from your position, influence product direction? Yeah, it's a forward. great question. It's actually a very close uh, relationship I've met mm -hmm. as, as the glue between the two to the vision as well as the execution. Very good. <laughs> Is it a relief not to have 26,000 engineers <laughs> that you're responsible for? Uh, uh, you pace? know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm a people person. I love, I, I'm a geek. I love to roll up my sleeves and geek it out with engineers. I do miss that part of it, and, so and I really good, enjoy that. Mix it up with the engineers, yeah. that would be great. So let's talk a little bit about those technology areas. Again, you mentioned a little bit about mobility. So given your experience in the wireless industry, do you have a specific vision and plan for Cisco in this industry? Yeah, you know, I mean, mobility is broader than wireless. Uh, you know, so we have to chart for ourselves a disruptive path, sort of from the side, side entrance to get into and, and get in and disrupt the players that are there. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask a question. Uh, one of the things we heard at Slow had to do with concern over new business models, certainly in emerging in places like India, for very, very low cost mm -hmm. service providers that can charge very low cost but yet can still make a profit versus our models with service providers. And talk about disruption, uh, what are we going to have to do to make sure that we're effective so that we don't get disrupted ourselves by yeah. other business models? That's a great question. And, you know, actually that's a, it's a tough question. And, I know and that's the right approach to go forward. Okay, very good. As we start talking about disruptive technology and emerging technologies, 
what emerging technologies are you excited about and what are you worried about, if any? The ones I'm excited about, luckily we are working on, uh, which, but I think we have to react and put things in place so that we catch those market transitions when they become real. Okay. How much of that is technological? How much of that is business model? How much of that, you know? Well, you know, I think I'm, because I'm a technologist, I always believe technology is at the heart of disruption, even if it's a... So I'm curious about your experiences regarding those things that seem to be most important today to, to CDO, innovation, collaboration, working better together in solutions and systems thinking, quality and customer experience. Some thoughts, how you, how you treat those particular topics and, and your thoughts for, for CDO. Yeah, so, you know, it's, um, it's tough to do all of those things at the same time. I think it's always um, that you have to make sure the quality metrics come into play. So it's making sure that we've segmented the, the audience, segmented our customers, and that we're setting the expectations right, so correctly. Right, so there's alpha and the users, and know. then there's the ramp. Okay. ramp. Well, very good. I'd like, uh, I'll be taking questions from the room and remotely uh, very shortly, so think of your questions that you have for Padma Shri. If you can, you know, raise your hand, we'll get a microphone over to you, and we'll take questions uh, uh, remotely as well. So it's, so it's a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. So for an engineer, I mean, t uh, again, typical engineers are, you know, heads down working on the innards of particular platforms. What would you advise in terms of having them think about that customer experience if it, if it is so truly important? I think usability is extremely important. So I think as engineers sometimes... Well, very good. Thank you. What I'd like to do is, is wrap up with one last question. Since this is a learning event, we had a question about learning. I know that there are probably a number of engineers out there that are looking as they look through their career and, and want to aspire to become more senior technical contributors, perhaps sometime become a CTO. What advice would you give them in terms of uh, the directions, the things that they should do in their career to help them progress along yeah. that technical path? You know, my, my advice is um, along three, three things, I think. And sometimes you may want to go to something different. Well, very good. I want to thank you very much for thank spending you. the time with us today for sharing your expertise and for your candid uh, commentary and, and answering our questions. So Great. thank you. Welcome thank to Cisco. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Padma Shri. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, Padma